what it is, but why is it? Why? Is, <laughs> not, not, why? Is not it what like is it? Always oh, just TP away from this. Does exactly He's that. Tier two. Clever. While mid lane, we are. That's a big impetus hit. First blood from Celery. Good little rotation. I like. Yeah, you can't kill me. Like maybe you're maxing that out. A second point and gosh, something that I haven't seen in a really long time. It's also mass nice consuming. Dodge. Doesn't matter though. Karaoke sidesteps the roll, but on a farm that Terra Blade is going to have. Yeah, because when you think that tier 1 tower on the top lane, you will have Earth Spirit and Enchantress moving to the bottom or the mid lane, and the mid lane tower is oh, just going to keep uh, putting more points at Edict. There's the mid dive. There's yeah. no even connection. SF Requiem. With the Requiem. Oh, the stun it stops off. it. Doesn't have a stick or anything either, so no bit of burst. Maybe that's a big brain play. You're playing into Wiper, you don't even get it. Arrow will connect. That's an easy kill. Yeah, it is a really nice setup there. Magic missile arrow. Finish him with Mike. We're using the glyph, already outnumbered. They're bringing uh, an extra hero, right? Tight Hunter with a TP. So this and a might be it. Gush into the haste of Lash. They've got the tower and they are escaping. Can they stun the Enchantress on the way out? Tide Hunter trying to walk forward, but Vipers arrived. Good little kick there, catching a couple on the way out, and the break. Oh, that's tickling Tide down, and he will hit the ground down. In comes Lash with the haste again. They roll forward onto We. Nigma. They are struggling now as the arrow connects on nobody and the Shadow Fiend, left isolated by the rest of his team, and much more effectively. But an interesting smoke from Nigma here, smoking up their Terror Blade. He's got Dragon Lance, Metamorphosis level three, Shadow Fiend. He's coming in here, level nine. Not really any items. And they pop the matter, swap back Celery, and that's an immediate kill on the Enchantress. But what what My can they? players are not doing, but maybe he starts getting a point in Aura. Also, one reason why he is not doing it so that position doesn't no have requiem, requiem yet, though. But he can set things up. Just yours into yours arrow. Into arrow. He's uh, looking for an angle. There it is. Waiting for that creep wave to go and waiting for the lash to appear. Yours arrow. Raises and Starstorm, easy pickings on Taboom's Lashrac, and Kuroki, he's also he want to bring in the next couple of minutes. Still and waiting again, for Moonlight Shadow. Oh, Requiem combination is ready. Can they find anybody? It feels like Viking knows something's happening. They have all run back, but GH has spotted Viper, Earth Spirit, and the Enchantress. He knows, and he feels the role moving forward. Where they try and dust to make a play. Rod of Atos onto the SF for the Terror Blade. He's arrived and they stun up Toby, obliterating Celery and Viking and falling apart. A roll back, cancelled by the swap from Kuroki, a double coming in and a triple for Miracle. It does arrive. Terror Blade on the map now, making his mark. I think they go straight into Roche Pit. Expecting that same kind of thing. And finally, Shad, right, Shad has BKB. So Lacoste, Viking should be ready to fight with everything they've got. Yeah, this is it. Either oh, he just oh, straight up oh, dies. Oh, yeah, the Ravage. No BKB 3 BKB. Yet. They've killed off Shab. That's perfect from Nigma. Now they want the swap back on the track. Yule's up into the air, but they've got Arrow to stun and the fear from the Requiem. All connecting with the two big cores falling. Nigma perfectly maneuver themselves into that Radiant Triangle. Two Broking. cores just Poor died. And, uh, like, <laughs> they're messing up with their timing so much because Viking wanted to take a fight right now with the fresh BKB bot on Sven. I love how V itemizes. He's not going for any greedy build. Instead, like, Yule Scepter for a setup, and I'm gonna get a BKB straight away. Because well, he, he knows TB will get the farm. GH is blinking in, though. Revenge for mind control as the Terror Blade will slay the Viper and make a kill That's into a double damage. as an unstoppable miracle TB. Aramis can't find an entry point. Sven is TPing to that top tier one. But they're going to be fighting into this Aegis Terror Blade. Slowing him down. They know there's no Manta. He's got Manta. No Sunder. Split Earth and the Edict. Boom is this Invis. Is problematic. This is difficult for Miracle now because the Aegis has popped and there's no backup. Venge is miles swamp? away. Ooh, Venge wait. is bottom lane. So, the Manta not dodging the stun. This time, they get the job done and Terra Blade down is Viking. Finally, hit one of their timings with the items they picked up. And maybe we'll catch even GH. Yule split Earth, one landing leap. it. Ooh, the leap from GH into the Moonlight Shadow. But the Pulse Nova's coming and GH is burnt alive. Damage, he gets arrow. That's a full duration arrow. TB, meta. Yeah, they're going to find him. There's that Scardi slowing him down. BKB does get expended while Aramis. Gives his life over to Team Nigma. They well, can actually move back across the area. Maybe retake the outpost. 
Oh, mind control. Stutter stepping. Goes up high ground. Spots the oh, Earth what Spirit. a blink. This the blink the away from the right click. History. Oh, BKB from the Shadow Fiend jumping in. The Sven is there with the All Scepter up. They do try and catch the Earth Spirit and they try and blow him up. The race is not enough though and Weeha has to run. But that's God Strength BKB down for the Sven. And Shadow Fiend, well, he expends a couple of his abilities. But they're fine with that because yeah. Sven just popped the ulti and he used the God Strength. So this really benefits Enigma. Like Shadowfin's like, I'm not the core guy here. You know, I'm just the one that wants to keep you busy. And here now comes the, the big daddy TB. Oh, Arrow somehow goes under the wings of the Viper. That we swap him back into the waiting arms of the Terrible. Oh, Didi just spawned. Oh, yes, he gave sure him the it did. Yule's on the Lashrak. In comes the Earth Spirit, catching the Ravage onto three. They do clip the Lashrak on the left hand side, but they're focusing the Sven. The Global Cape not enough. And Terrible with the DD rune is shredding through them all. Double kill for Miracle. And he wants Toby. He's hit him once with a Scardy slow. RMS rolling back, trying to save Toby's life. But this TB range, look at how far he's attacking from. Shadow Fiend has blinked aggressively under the tier two. Weeha might survive, but it's an Ultra for Miracle, and he's got a Rampage. Give him the Rampage. Give him the double. Give him the double Rampage. Stone Yules for the Shrek now, but it's nowhere near enough to handle Miracle, this Terra Blade. He is absolutely cruising. Oh, Enchantress bought out and probably just... Wants out steps, you know. He is a tip I farmer. think they're done. I, I think they're done with this game. He is like harvesting them. Yules, arrow. Boom gets caught. Wee's coming in with a BKB, Requiem, and another Yule Scepter. They're going to blow up Boom here, down to half HP. The double Perfectly raises. Timed. Really well done by Wee. Die back on the Lashrak. 25 seconds. Throwing spells onto the Terra Blade. Little by little, whittling him down, but they've swapped Toby back in. Sven, well, he's come into this fight a little bit late. We'll try and focus down and take out Kuroki. God Strength and that Aghanim Stormhammer paying off dividends. Holding the BKB, which is still 8 seconds duration. And Magnetite What if Chad is like, down. I want to play Sven in the next patch. Oh, he's going to... Get DB. Nice amount of dodge. And the evasion still Could loses the Aegis. BKB. So, yeah, what if Shad is actually, you know, playing mind Sven gaming. badly, mind gaming, like uh, to show Ice Frog that the hero doesn't need Nurse, and then he continues playing at uh, full potential, full power in the next batch. We have to ask him what's his favorite hero. If that's his favorite hero, kind of makes sense. Just keep Sven viable, please. Enigma are going to take down two lanes of barracks, it looks like. Focusing on the melee ones at the beginning. They can even go bottom if they would really like to. Still 17 seconds without the Lashrak. What's the defense move? Nice. We nice blink dodge. Catches the Viper. And that's him dead for 50. No buyback available. They also use an arrow, catching and stunning the Earth Spirit, and that's it. Buyback Just a casual buyback. Out. You know what I like to say, Gary, when it's oh, time boom. to call it. It is time to call it. It looks I like it's time to call it. it. And there's the big Ravage. Going to be securing this game for Team Nygma, taking down Shad, buying back into the battle. But this Terror Blade, with Sunder still ready to go, he pops the Mount of the Cheese. The Stormhammer's there, and he does jump forward on Aramis, but Miracle's just too tanky. They don't have the staying power, and Shad's BKB is meaningless without the God Strength. It's up in three seconds with a three-man Stormhammer. The mech from Mind Control heals them all back up, and they've got a Solar Crest to play with as Shad is killed a second time in a row, while Celery, Yules, and calls GG. Game three goes the way of Team Nygma. And a second game in a row where they really do wait it out till that late game timing. Yeah, I mean, they did exactly the same thing and uh, I'd say...